May Larson ate how much does a human brain weigh? My name is Dr. Claudia Reardon and I'm a psychiatrist at the University of Wisconsin. A psychiatrist is a medical doctor who specializes in diagnosing and treating mental illness. In particular, my area of interest and expertise is sports psychiatry, which involves diagnosing and treating mental illness in athletes. The average human brain weighs about three pounds, um, so that represents about 2% of our body weight. The human heart pumps blood to the entire body and actually pumps about 20% of its total blood output to the brain. So 2% of our body weight receives 20% of the blood pumped by our heart. That really is a testament to how important and remarkable this organ really is. The human brain includes 100 billion neurons, which are brain cells, nerve cells. Again, just really a testament to how remarkable and impressive our brains are. The brain is an ever-changing organ. There are actually a, a number of factors that can cause um, brain cells to die or to regenerate and you know particularly relevant to my practice as a psychiatrist if someone has significant untreated depression they lose brain cells they lose neurons in their brain the wonderful and remarkable news is that when we are able to successfully treat something like depression those brain cells go, grow back the brain grows back to the size it's supposed to be the thick outer layer of the brain is called the cerebral cortex there are a number of different ways to, to break up the brain and think about how it, it, its uh, components um, form, but I think the easiest way is to think about the brain in terms of the different so-called lobes. So, for example, the front part of the brain, right here, is called the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe is important for things like focus and concentration, self-control, and planning and executing multi-step activities. The next lobe that I think about is the parietal lobe. So this is the, the top, kind of top back part of our head here. Um, and when you think about the parietal lobe, you should think about things like sensation, so the ability to feel things. Um, and it's also involved in hearing and language. The next part of the brain is called the temporal lobe. So kind of right overlying our ears here on either side of the head. When you think of the temporal lobe, you should absolutely think of memory. The temporal lobe is also involved in language. Finally, the very back part of the brain in a, a rather small lobe um, is called the occipital lobe. When you think of the occipital lobe, you should think of vision because that's really the main part that this part of the brain is involved in.